I'm Mel Arama, and today I'm going to show you a few basic organ registration techniques. The organ is capable of a countless number of combinations of sounds, and hopefully this tutorial will help you know better how to choose the sounds that you want. I'll begin by showing you the five classes of sounds on the organ. Number one, we have the foundation sounds. These are the sounds that are unique to the organ. These are sounds you can't find in the orchestra. This includes the principal stop, the octave, the diapason, the super octave. Our second class of sounds are the flutes. These are sounds that sound like flutes in the orchestra. They're softer sounds and they're more like ooh, ooh. And this includes the bordone, the flute, the night horn, the gadek, and the tibia. Our third class of sounds are the string instruments, and these sound like the string section of an orchestra. This one includes stops like the violin, the viol, the cello, the gamba, the saliciano, and the salicet. Our fourth set of sounds are the reed stops. These sound like the reeds and the brass instruments in the orchestra. It's the sound you get when you hold your nose. And this will include stops such as the oboe, the trumpet, the clarinet, the clarion, and the box humana. Our fifth and final class of sounds are the percussion instruments. And the organ is, is usually, or the sounds on the organ are usually generated by blowing wind through a pipe. So percussion sounds are different. Those sounds are struck. And it's easy for an electronic organ to make these sounds. This organ has a harp setting. And it also has a carillon sitting, also known as bells. And there you have it, the five types of sounds. That's number one, foundation. Number two, the flutes. Number three, the strings. Number four, the reeds. And number five, percussion. Now if you come a little closer, I'll show you what some of these numbers mean on these dots. Okay, now take a look at these numbers at the bottom of these dots. We'll start with this flute stop. This represents an eight-foot pipe in the organ. 
because of its length, it's going to produce a certain pitch. We'll call that the normal pitch. A four-foot pipe is half the length of the eight-foot pipe, so it's going to be an octave higher. Here's eight, four, and the two-foot pipe will be two octaves higher. One-foot pipe, three octaves higher. And let's come back to normal. And we'll increase the length by two to get an octave lower. This organ even has a 32 stop, which is two octaves lower. But you can't really hear that through the recording. Now these stops, these fraction stops, they're called mutation stops. And they are not perfect octaves, but they are in between. See, so here's eight octave higher, two octaves higher, and in the middle we have an octave and a fifth. When you combine it with the eight, the two and two thirds will reinforce certain notes in this overtone series and gives you an interesting sound. The one and three fifths up is one, two octaves, and a third. Let me put all three of them together. Sounds like something out of Bolero. Now, I'll show you these Roman numerals. These are called mixtures. What they've done is they've taken four sounds, or this four here means that they've taken four sounds and they've put them together into one stop. If you listen carefully, you can almost pick out the four different sounds. This one has only two sounds mixed together. Now these two stops are special because I see those little tiny Roman numeral twos. These two celeste settings are two pipes, or one of them is two pipes that are pitched very close to each other, which will produce little tiny subtraction sounds. And it actually makes the sound stick out a little more than some of the other stuff. You can almost hear one of the pipes slightly out of tune. It's very hard to pick it out, but it gives it a pretty sound. Okay, well those are the basic steps. Uh, stay tuned for my next video where I will show you uh, a few more basic techniques. Thank you for watching.